Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Well, another dereliction of duty by the city once again. This house was on fire about a week ago. I'm in East Dayton. Nothing's been secured. The house is obviously in ruins. Doors are wide open, so somebody could just come right in and set a fire again. But yeah, this is what's been allowed to happen to the city. The city's just fell apart. I'm not sure where the fire started at in here, but obviously another safety hazard. So somebody asked me to do an update on the Hewitt Silk Factory. Well, here's another update on something that hasn't changed either more abandoned houses that are derelict that are an eyesore to the community you see all this shit right here nails sticking up yes i'm being careful where i walk and i got boots on so yeah this is what's happened to the city they don't give a crap about anything that's it happens around here. This is on East 5th Street, close to Circle K. And you know, as I mentioned before, part of this is it's very interesting. This house, it's a cart that's been scrapped, but huh, surprisingly, they haven't took in the metal for that. But here, I mean. No utilities, so the utilities are were clearly disconnected from the house. But, you know, this area is a... I'm in East Dayton, but this borders two historic districts. St. Anne's Hill was street or two away, then 4th and Huffman on the other side of 5th Street. Which, this is what makes it hard for those historic districts to have any kind of value... When you have houses that have been set on fire and numerous houses set ablaze, how can a historic district have any kind of value when the city just leaves this kind of mess for everybody? And I'm surprised somebody, I'm surprised with the amount of homeless people around here. That somebody's not stripped up copper wiring out of here. Take it in for scrap, but give it time. So yeah, this is... And this house should have been boarded up after the fire. Yet here it is, just wide open for somebody to set the house on fire. Yet again... And this is the results of just not caring about the city. And, you know, it's time that we start recalling the city leaders who refuse to, to clean this, this mess up. It's unacceptable. Here you can see right here. Or somebody scrapped the TV, got whatever metal they could out of the TV. That's not uncommon. So yeah, some a homeless person could easily just come right in here again. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, if they're desperate enough. But so yeah, this is The result of that, I mean, I shouldn't even be able to walk into this house after it was on fire. But it's just wide open. There's a little TV again that's been on fire. Got a propane tank. It's right there. That's looking south into the neighborhood. 
But yeah, this is the result of just, you know, the citizens allowing the city to not hold up there into the bargain and clean things up. This is just disgraceful that this mess has been allowed to be left here unsecured. And the chances of this place probably being set on fire again are huge. It wouldn't take much for somebody just to walk in here again or to try and squat somebody's Budweiser can. And they think this little caution tape's gonna stop anybody from coming and give me a fucking break. I filmed that side, but there's the notice from the city. It's not gonna do any good because the city has not secured the property. No mail in that mailbox. But yeah, they don't care about this. And many parts of the city look like this, unfortunately. There was a couple more fires in other parts of the city over the last few days, and they're probably where the houses are unsecured as well. But anyway, I'm going to wrap it up on this one. 1824, and I assume probably 1826 or 1822, East 5th Street, Cata to to June Street and on the other side I believe that's Samuel or McReynolds but that's it for this one